Hey everybody, welcome back. We are working on Tony's 29 GP again, and we found a bit of an issue with the carrier for the bearing on the fan shaft. Um, right there, if you can see the, the ear is broken off. I think it was this one over here. So what we're gonna do is pull this out so that we can get a new carrier, but the only way to get that out is to either A, take the manifold off, or B, take the governor housing off. So Tony's gonna to take the governor housing off. We'll inspect everything inside of there. Since we got it off, we might as well look at the weights, make sure they're not uh, too severely worn and you know, go from there. So, and then with that off, we, can, we should be able to snake this fan shaft out backwards. So, should be able to. In theory. So, have at it, Tony. Hey. Okay, everyone. Well, we've got the governor housing off. Tony's gone for the day, but the weights have almost zero play in them. So that's a good thing. The gears look to be in great shape. There's no significant scarring or chipping or anything on any of the gears, so that's good. Um, one of the things we did find, though, however, is not only did we find this broken carrier for the bearing, but the bearing itself, if you guys can see that, this inside collar, that's an inner race. And that's turning on the shaft. And we don't believe that that should be turning on the shaft. So I don't know what we're gonna do with that. If we're gonna have to try and find a new shaft, obviously we have to get the gear and the bearing off. And from there, we have to inspect the shaft and see if, if or what kind of wear there is. I can already tell there's pretty significant wear. Sorry, there's a lot of mosquitoes out here. Pretty significant wear on the shaft where the seal rides. So, not sure what we're going to do with that. But it seems like we take one thing off this thing, we find another somewhat minor problem. You know, we're, we're still way ahead in having a tractor that's not stuck and a whole lot of other issues. Um, well, granted, we haven't heard it run or move yet. We've heard it pop, but <clears throat> there are so many mosquitoes out here. There's one right in front of the camera, dead now. But um, yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it is what it is. It's 94 years old, so you should be expecting to find a lot more wrong than what we actually have found. Uh, we did take some time to pressure wash this, degrease and pressure wash it, so it brought out a lot of the original green. I don't know if you guys can see that, but a lot of that original green is coming out now. So really cool. But I'm going to go ahead and get out of here because the mosquitoes are literally chasing me. So, um, ooh, that's a good shot. I don't know if you can see all the green there. But, um, yeah, it's, it's looking really good. It, it'll need another degreasing. There's still a lot of areas, especially behind the flywheel, that have a lot of grease in them. But, you know, this was at least good to do so we don't have all this grease falling down inside things as we take covers off and open up the internals and, and do that. So, anyhow, I'm getting out of here. Mosquitoes are eating me alive. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoy. Thanks uh, for staying tuned. And uh, we'll see you probably in an update on the case SC again. So thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.